In this question here, we have a train of mass 5.6 times 10 of 5 kilogram from rest, okay, in the station, okay, and it starts what accelerating forwards. This is the distance time graph for it. As you can see, there is a curve here in distance time graph. Why? What's the meaning of curve? That means the speed, the gradient keep increases. That means there is acceleration. Then somewhere here, it becomes what? A straight line. So when it becomes a straight line, that means the speed is constant steady speed. Good. Then what they ask, use the graph to determine the average speed in the first 120 seconds. Now we know that average speed equal what? Distance divided by time. It's only one mark. How far it was moving in the first, okay, 120 seconds. So here it's 120 seconds. The speed is how much? 4,800. So distance is 4,800 divided by 120. Okay, second. So that means that there is what? A speed of average speed, 4,200 divided by 120 which is what, 40 meters per second. This is the average what speed. Shukran, yes, bravo, ya Muhammad, shukran, Abdurrahman. Okay, from where we did we get 4,800, Maratan. Here is the last point for the time of 120. On the uh, y-axis, the distance is 4,000, uh, 5,000, so 4,000, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that means, it's 4,800, okay? That's the total distance divided by the time, which is 120, okay? And the answer is 40 meters per second. Then what they ask, find the speed at time of how much? 100. If I want to find the speed at 100 here, how can I do that? Huh? Who can tell us how we can do that? I repeat for you. Okay, we have, Mass of the train start from rest. Okay, it start accelerating. There is acceleration. It's curve. Then steady speed. What they ask? They ask about the average speed in the first one twenty second. So average speed. It's the distance travel. Okay, which is uh, four thousand eight hundred here divided by the time, which is one twenty. So forty meters per second. That's one mark. Then what they ask? They ask about the speed of the train at one hundred here. Now I can't divide this value, 3,600 divided by 100. This is the average speed. They didn't ask about the average speed. They ask about the speed at a certain instant. So the speed at the certain instant, I need to find the gradient or the tangent. I can choose this point with this point or this point with this point with that point here, okay? So because they are a straight line, I will find the rise over the run because we know that speed at this moment equal the gradient, not the whole distance over the whole time. So I will choose two points and find the gradient, the rise over the run. So if, for example, if I use this point, okay, with the last point that we just find it out here. So that means that the gradient, which is 4,800, the initial point here, minus this point here, when it starts to become a straight line, which is 2,400 minus 2,400, all what divided by the time, which is how long the time was, 120 minus what, 80. So I find the two points, I find the gradient by knowing the y-axis and the x-axis. So 120 minus what, 80. 120 minus 80 is what, 40. And 4,200 minus 2,400, it's 2,400. So 2,400 divided by 400, uh, so 40, sorry, it will be what, 60 meters per watt per second in Eid Maratani. There's a difference between average speed, the total distance over the total time, or certain speed or instantaneous speed. I told you, if we have a curve or a certain point like this in a straight line, I can, it's a curve, not straight line. I can divide this value over this value. I can divide 3,600 divided by 100. No, I need to find two points on this straight line or I will draw a tangent from here, the whole to, to somewhere here, okay? And find the gradient of the whole tangent, the rise over the run, the change in distance divided by the change in time. Because here, as you can see, the speed changes. That's why the average speed, which is 40, okay? And the maximum speed after 80 seconds, it remains constant speed, it's what, 60. That's why 60 is greater, okay? 
but they say that they want exactly. So the speed at this moment, it's equal the speed at any moment and on the straight line. So I can draw the straight line like this until this point somewhere here, okay? And find what the gradient of it, okay? But if they ask, for example, if they ask about the speed at this here at 40 seconds, Chubaki, I would say 60 divided by 40, of course not. I will draw the tangent that only intersect with this line at this point. Then what I pick two points and find the gradient of these two pit, two pit, two points. Okay. Tamam. Good. Okay. Okay. Good. Tamam. So that's the answer for part A I one and two. Double I. Discuss how the extraction of the train at time 100 second is different than the cash, the acceleration at 20 second. Who can tell me how, how much is the acceleration in this moment at 100 second? How much is the acceleration here? Who can tell me how much is the acceleration here? And this is straight line at 100 second. How much was the acceleration? I told you it's a steady speed. So how much the acceleration here? Exactly. So zero. acceleration is zero. It's a steady speed. There is no acceleration. But at 20 seconds, there was acceleration here in the beginning? Yes, there was acceleration because it was a curve. They didn't ask us to explain why. They asked about describe. So at 100 second, there is no what? There is no acceleration. Why there is no acceleration? Let's change the color. And that's why. But they didn't ask no, why. It's a straight line straight line. What that meaning of straight line? Continue, constant speed or steady speed. Steady speed, okay? This is for us, not for the answer. But, continue, but at 20 seconds, there is a small, what, acceleration. Why small acceleration? Why there is acceleration? Oh, let's change the color. It's a curve, curve line, curve line. Curve line means changing speed or increasing speed. Increasing what speed? The 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 one that I wrote, draw it, uh, write it down with red. It's only for us to, to understand when we re, uh, restudy this worksheet. But the answer is with the green. Okay, tamam, Mister. Why we why? Did we wrote, okay, did you write uh, 2,400? Where I, I wrote 2,800? Ah, okay. Maratani, I pick two points here. I pick two points because they ask about the speed at 100. Any two points on this straight line. So let's choose this point and this point on the straight line. So how much the coordination of this point? It's 120 comma, what? 4,800. And here, how much the coordination? It's 80, comma, what, uh, 2,400. And I find the difference, I find the gradient. Good, Ibrahim? Tamam? Good, okay, tamam. Part B, the initial acceleration of the train is how much? 0 0.75 meters per second. Calculate the resultant force. Ah. Oh. Who can tell what's the relationship between resultant force and acceleration? There is a formula, resultant force equal, equal what? Mass times acceleration. They ask about the resultant force. How much is the acceleration they tell us? It's 0 0.75. How much is the mass? But the resultant force equal mg. mg, it's the weight. mg is the weight, not the resultant force. How much is the mass? It's 5.6 times 10 to the power of 5. So 5.6 times 10 to the power of 5, that's the mass. Multiply by what? Multiply by the acceleration, which is uh, 0 0.75. So the answer will be 4.2 times 10 to the power of 5 watt in Newton. OK, that's the resultant force. Okay, that's the initial acceleration. What do I mean by initial acceleration at the beginning, at zero speed here in the beginning? The initial acceleration here at the beginning, it was how much? 
0.75, okay, slow acceleration. And that's how much the resultant force. Of it. At time 120, the train began to distract. State what is meant by distraction. After 120 seconds, the train start to what? To what? This race. So it will be curved down. But they didn't ask about the curve down like this. Okay. They ask about the what? The definition of the acceleration or the distraction. Now we know that the definition of the acceleration, the weight of changing velocity. That's for acceleration. For distraction, what I will say, the rate of Exactly, Abdul Rahman. The rate of decreasing, not changing, not increasing and decreasing, changing, decreasing velocity. Bravo. So write this down. Write this down. The rate of decreasing velocity. Tamam? Good. Okay, that's it for this uh, worksheet.